Well, hi everyone, and a warm welcome back to the channel. This time we're coming to you from York. We're at Nabon Lock Tranquil Sites Park. It's adult only, and it's superb. Enjoy the video. Hey, darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling. We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open Countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand Hey, darling I love it when it's me and you on the road with a couple of tunes in a car for two Hey darling You know we're gonna have a really good time Driving in the middle of the night when the stars are bright Pack our bags and get in that car Real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I want to make it count, honey Come on now and take So pretty with the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday, baby. Don't you understand that we only get one life? I wanna make it count, honey. Come on now and take my hand. Yeah, we only get one life. I wanna make it count, honey. Come on now and take my hand. Morning, we're at Nabon Lock, um, pretty little site in Nabon, Yorkshire. Um, it's a tranquil site, this, and it's adult only. Um, it's really quite pretty, isn't it? And you've got the addition of a river bus which takes you to York. York is actually four miles away from here, and you've got a regular bus route um, just outside the gates. Um, you get free Wi Fi here which is pretty good. There's a little town, Nabon, or Nabon, sorry, which is just down the road, which has a pub which is dog friendly, and it's called the Blacksmith Arms. You've also got a couple of little shops. I think there's a spa shop there as well. Um, TV reception's quite good. We've watched a fair bit of telly here. Price per night was 37.60, but we are on a service pitch. You can get grass pitches and hard standing as well if you wish. Two pound a night for the dog as well, which is in the 3760. Um, you've got a little shop on here which sells some really nice wine, not ordinary wine, mm -hmm. really quite, um, quite you know, expensive. Wine. expensive. It was a good choice, but Helen went for the rather expensive bottle at 17 pounds. You could tell the difference, and it was a nice drop of stuff. <laughs> Every now and again, I like a nice drop. Um, you've got a little laundrette here, which sometimes you get at the garages, you know, which is outside um, Which is quite handy, isn't it? Well, I've never actually used one of these before, but it looks self-explanatory. The key thing is 
that stands out for me. One, you don't need any detergent or you know any other product because that's all included in the wash. And also, it will send you a text to let you know just before the cycle's finished, so you can just pop back and get your gear. Fantastic, really good. And uh, also outdoor things. Nice warm showers and toilets, very clean. The toilets and showers are in this main block here. Very tidy, very warm. Lashings of hot water, which is just superb. No silly push buttons going on or anything like that. The river bus we actually got to York on Sunday. At the moment, they're only running Saturdays and Sundays, but in the school holidays, they run more often. We'll put another sign up with information about that, Dave. We will. Phone signal? Phone signal's pretty good as well. Very good. Yeah. I've got about four bars on O2, plenty of 4G. I was able to stream on the TV uh, through the phone, no problem at all. Yeah. Um, so all in all, pretty good site, really. Yeah. Breakfast in the van today, folks, and uh, Helen's gone for the very healthy cornflakes with a bit of banana. And uh, for myself, I'm going equally healthy today with a bit of scrambled egg on toast, cooked in the van, on the ridge monkey. Just pan over there, Helen. Here it is. All done on the ridge monkey, no gas required, on the electric hob. I think that's about there for me. Up. Look at this, look, a bit of pepper on top, bit of cracked pepper there. Cornflakes with banana and milk for Helen, with some fresh orange juice, which she got from, what did you get that from, Tesco? Yeah. Very Don tasty. Simon. What's it called? Don Simon, it's really nice. Don Simon, that uh, sounds a bit Spanish. Uh, beautiful morning, look at the sun shining. We've got a motorhome over here for company. Helen's just doing her hair. Shall I pan round on you, Helen? No, thanks. <laughs> Right, we're going to enjoy some brekkie. Catch you soon. This is the walkway down. It says this gate closes at six, but it's never been closed at all since we got here. There's a dog walk at the bottom of the caravan park. We can come down this lane, which is what we've tended to do. And this takes you down to the weir. And then this is the bottom element over here. Like, and there's quite a few more vans here. At the weekend, the site was pretty full, but it's uh, it emptied really Sunday night. So it's much quieter now. A few arrivals today though. It's Monday today. So Helen and Bella are still making their way down the lane. So that's the way we chose to come down. But if you want to walk through the caravan park, you can do. And they've got a dog walk at the bottom. This field is basically the dog walk. And as you can see, they've cut out a number of different walking paths that you can take the dog on and uh, you can let a dog off the lead there and then you can get through this gate here there's a little side gate and then that will bring you back up to where we're walking now 
which takes us down to Naburn Lock itself. Now I was pronouncing it Naburn or Narburn, but it's actually Naburn. I've learned since we've been here. But it literally is a five minute walk down here from the campsite. But look when you get here, it's absolutely stunning. It's beautiful. We're not sure if the lock is still in use. Certainly it looks like it probably could be or should be, but we haven't seen anything go through it yet. This is a little swing bridge here. And uh, when we walked across it the other day, it started moving. Helen got the fright of her life. <laughs> this is where you come in to go through the lock. So we're gonna have a little walk across the lock. That's what these are designed to do. We've watched many a narrow boat channel where you can do this. And it's all in good order. There's no issue. Fine, come on. You can do it. Come on, Belle. Good girl. We made it. We made it. So the lock's empty, plenty of water seeping through. You can see the height difference, can't you? Well, the water's really pouring down there. Thousands and thousands of gallons of water, probably a second, I don't know. There's a lot of water. Beautiful. Well, the water's so stunning, so still. And then you get over here to the weir and then suddenly rapido, rapids. This is the River Ooze, this is a reminder. This has been site one of our Yorkshire tour, which is Neighbourn Lock. Um, and it's been a great start, I think, oh, for you. It's been absolutely wonderful, folks. Really mm. couldn't recommend this site uh, anymore. Really is great. Uh, the location's good for York, isn't it? But it's just so picturesque down here. And very peaceful as well. Yeah, really. Very peaceful. Uh, sort of, you know, that tranquil park's headings, absolutely yeah. spot on for this. Uh, what we're going to do though, we're going to do a bit of a special on Sunday. We normally put our videos out Thursday, 4.30. Um, but what we did do is we got on the old river bus, didn't we, love? We went to York on the river bus and that was amazing, wasn't it? Beautiful. So yeah. we want to take you down the river on Sunday afternoon at half past four. Uh, we pass a number of other sort of touring sites mm. on the way to York, don't we? Yeah. Lots of pubs. There's an old palace that we go through. And of course, okay. if you know York, when we get to the centre there, plenty to see and do. So if you can do, join us on Sunday at half past four for part two of our little adventure here at Neighbourn Lock. I love York, actually. One of my favourite cities. The most haunted in city in Europe. In Europe. Mm. So we read yesterday, yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you'll also see that I have a little encounter with uh, <laughs> with Guy Fawkes. <laughs> What's funny about that? <laughs> Wait and see. <laughs> so uh, we hope you've enjoyed the video. If you've uh, not yet subscribed to our channel, we'd love it if you did. Just hit the subscribe button. It costs absolutely nothing. Nothing. And we'd like you to give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. Yeah. We like the comments and we answer every single comment we get. Okay, so until the next one, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. See you soon. Bye. Bye for now.